Hey ladies, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Mrs. Emily Paints and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this brown cut crease eyeshadow look with the 35XS No Silent Nights by Morphe. Okay ladies, we are going to be starting off with this yellow shade and underneath for my base you guys, I did use the ColourPop concealer and I did not set it so I can get the most pigment out of this shade. So just use a fluffy brush and we're going to be using this to blend all over our crease in circular motions and side to side motions as you guys can see that I'm doing right now. So you guys make sure you go all the way towards that outer area past your eyebrow. Trust me it will make the glam look more dramatic. Before I used to be very scared to go past my eyebrow but now that I'm trying something new it is working out perfectly for me. So I recommend you guys if you have that fear to lose it ASAP. <laughs> Next I'm going in with this orangey tone as you guys can see and I'm applying this right under that shade on my crease. Do not go above you guys. We are not going to be passing over the first shade that we applied. And we're just going to be blending this out in side to side motions or circular motions. And we're also going to be dragging this out towards that outer corner that I was telling you guys about. Okay ladies, I want to try something new on my channel but I don't know if you guys would be interested. So if you guys can please let me know in the comments below if you would like this. Um, I want to try doing mukbangs while doing scary stories here on my YouTube channel. So let me know if you guys think that would be something interesting to you so that I can go ahead and film that for you, okay? Also right now I'm just using the first brush that we used with no product, just whatever's on the brush. Just to blend it out and make it look more smoky at the top. Now I'm going in with the darkest shade that I used on this palette and I'm going to be applying this on my crease and on my lid as you guys can see I'm not covering up the other colors that I applied above and I'm going to be dragging this out all the way towards that outer corner that I was telling you guys about. This is very important if you guys want that sharp dramatic effect on your eyeshadow. Oh my god, I can't believe I was so scared to do this before you guys. <laughs> if you look at my TikTok and my Instagram, you guys can see that these looks are popping with filters and everything. It looks so cool, especially the transitions. Anyways, you guys, right now I'm using some makeup remover liquid just to remove some of that makeup. As you guys can see, I'm cutting my crease with a pointy Q-tip, which you guys can purchase on my website down below in the description. This is another important step you guys. I'm going to be going in on the outer corner of my eye and as you guys can see I'm dragging this outwards. I'm also using the makeup remover liquid right here just to sharpen up that edge and give it that dramatic effect. If you guys need a guide for this line you can follow your waterline or you can also use some tape to do this. Next, I'm going in with my concealer from ColourPop and I'm just going to be cleaning out this area with it just so we can apply a shade over it. I usually use the little stick on the foundation, but if you're more comfortable, I recommend you use a flat brush full of the product so that it's as flat as it can be <laughs> and you make this line a lot sharper if you're not used to this. So yeah, you guys, while I'm cutting my crease, comment down below the color yellow if you guys have watched this video up until now. And so I know you're a real one and you're actually watching my videos all the way through because I actually check on that. <laughs> Anyways, next I'm going in with this light shade just to uh, set that area up. And we are going to lightly tap on this. Remember to raise your eyebrows a little bit just so that you do not touch the other eyeshadow colors because we don't want to mess up that crease area. Now I'm going in with the first shade I used, then the second shade that I used. And after this, we are going to be going in with the third shade just to cover up that area and make it look blended onto that light shade. Now I'm going to be going in with this shimmery shade that's on the same palette. And I'm going to be applying this right in the middle of the light shade that I used and the other shades because I want an extra pop that looks so good, you guys, with the filters on TikTok because I also film videos on there. So follow me on there if you guys aren't. It looks so bomb. Next, I'm adding some glue onto this outer area where I applied the shimmery shade and you can find this on my website as well. The link is down below in the description. And I'm going to be going in with this yellow glitter, which is also available on my website. I'm using a simple fluffy brush, you guys, and just applying 
a little bit of gold glitter right on top as you guys can see it kind of looks like little flakes that's kind of the effect i wanted for this look if you guys have any recommendations on colors or anything any type of glams you guys want me to try out please comment down below in the comments i will gladly create them for you i need content ideas you guys i'm trying to get back on track so please comment down below if you guys have any color suggestions i would appreciate it a lot Okay, now next I'm going to be going in with some eyeliner. I'm using the Italia Deluxe Liquid Matte Eyeliner. It's supposed to be waterproof, but honestly, I don't think it is. But it's still so bomb. It looks so matte. This is like the mattest eyeliner I have ever used, and I love it. If you guys hear any noises in the background, any music, people, a TV... You guys, <laughs> I live with five people and two pets. And not only that, but in this apartment, um, there are so many people outside. You guys, it is like a rancho here, I swear. <laughs> I could hear kids screaming. I hear the neighbors screaming. It's crazy. Anyways, now I'm going in with the lashes in the style Leslie. These are from my website, you guys. The link is down in the description. These are super dramatic and super bomb. I thought they were perfect for this glam. I've been using these religiously in almost all of my tutorials lately, honestly. Okay, ladies, we are done with this look. This is what it looks like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you guys have any ideas down in the comments um, for me to try out for my next videos. Also, remember to like, subscribe, and follow me on TikTok and Instagram as well, you guys. And like always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!